Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today we are going to do the final basic flat chord, which will be the G flat chord. Last week we did the E flat chord. The link for that will be somewhere around here. But so to begin with this one, and like with almost every flat chord that we uh, covered in these tutorials, it's hard to start off with the regular tone. In this case, the G chord, which is this and move it one fret back because we got the problem that the bridge here on our arm, we cannot move that back one fret. So we start off with the second way to play the G chord, which is right here. If you want to learn how to play the G chord itself, the link will be also somewhere around here, somewhere above. Um, there I show you the different positions in which we can play the G chord, or at least the most common ways and one extra way. But anyways, the second way to play the G chord is right here with my index finger over all the strings on the third fret. Then we have the G chord, right? then we have the G chord like this. And now it's very easy just to move back one fret to get the G flat chord, which is on the second fret right here. And that's the G flat chord. Then the second way to play the G flat chord is starting off with the third way to play the G chord and then move back. So the second way to play the G chord was right here with my index finger over the five lower strings on the 10th fret. And then we have the G chord like this, which is already a little bit tricky to get clean. Then we move back one fret and then we get the G flat chord. All right, that's basically the same as this. Sounds a little bit different, higher, but it's the same chord. All right, so that's basically it for the G flat chord. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. Thank you very much, and see you guys next time. Bye.